Can you pass this phrasal verbs quiz from EspressoEnglish.net? Test your knowledge of phrasal verbs with this 20-question quiz. You will see a sentence with three options. Choose the best one. After a few seconds, the answer will appear. Number 1. The correct answer is on. Hang on a second. Don't make a decision before you know all the facts. Both hang on and hold on mean wait. Number 2. The correct answer is up. I hadn't seen him in several years, so it was nice to catch up over lunch. To catch up with someone can mean to exchange news about your lives after not having seen the person for a while. Number 3. The correct answer is out. It's a really small problem. You shouldn't make it out to be worse than it is. To make something out to be something else means to describe or portray it as different than it really is. Number 4. The correct answer is into. The salesman talked me into buying the best model. To talk someone into doing something means to convince that person to do it. The opposite is to talk someone out of doing something, meaning to convince them not to do it. Number 5. The correct answer is through. Our plans for a weekend trip fell through because my husband had to work overtime. If a project or plan falls through, it means it fails and is not successful or is not implemented. Number 6. The correct answer is by. My neighbor dropped by yesterday afternoon for a cup of tea. To stop by or drop by means to go for a quick, informal visit. Number 7. The correct answer is away. I was blown away by the sheer size of the mountains. If you are blown away by something, it means you are extremely amazed or impressed. Number 8. The correct answer is off. The exceptions to the rules in English always throw me off. If something throws you off, it means it confuses you and leads you in a wrong direction. Number 9. The correct answer is on. It makes me uncomfortable when someone I've just met starts hitting on me. To hit on someone means to flirt with them to clearly demonstrate romantic or sexual interest in them. Number 10. The correct answer is out. Your mom's going to be mad when she finds out you broke the window. The phrasal verb find out means to discover or learn some new knowledge. Number 11. The correct answer is off. The baseball game was called off because of the rain. To call off an event means to cancel it. Number 12. The correct answer is up. Whenever I'm sad, playing with my dog always cheers me up. The phrasal verb cheer up means to make someone who is sad happier. Number 13. The correct answer is in. I missed yesterday's episode. Can you fill me in on what happened? 
To fill someone in on something means to give them information or updates that they previously missed. Number 14. The correct answer is off. Lots of people fail at starting a business, but my cousin pulled it off. If you pull something off, it means you succeed at that thing, especially something that is difficult or challenging. Number 15. The correct answer is in. All the students pitched in to clean up the classroom. To pitch in means to contribute help to a group effort. Number 16. The correct answer is out. He was kicked out of college for cheating on a test. If someone is kicked out, it means they are forced to leave a group, school, or house. Number 17. The correct answer is in. If someone's making unreasonable demands, you shouldn't give in. To give in means to yield or submit to something. Number 18. The correct answer is up. I hope I don't slip up when giving my speech. To slip up means to make a mistake. Number 19. The correct answer is out. It's annoying when people promise to do something but later back out. To back out means not to do something you previously committed to. Number 20. The correct answer is across. We came across some old photographs while cleaning our parents' attic. To come across something means to find it unexpectedly. If you'd like to learn more phrasal verbs, check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. You'll learn 500 phrasal verbs naturally in the context of dialogues. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and look for Phrasal Verbs in Conversation.